folks before moving ahead let me show you something on my excel screen look over here i have a product drop down list and i'll just tap on this drop down and instead of toothpaste i'm going to select a tiger balm so once i select the tiger balm all the tiger balm products are display over here i'm going to do again click on this drop down and i'm going to select the jandu balm and look over here the jandu balm products are display over here from this table i'm going to fetch the data from this table by using filter and v lookup this is a dynamic filter v lookup yes guys and if you don't know how to apply it i'm going to tell you step by step by the way this is our v lookup part 7 means i have already uploaded v lookup 1 to 6 part if you haven't watched it go and watch that videos for that i'm going to put the link in the description so go and watch that videos for now i'm going to tell you how you can fetch the data from this look at over this table and let me let me explain this one again look over this table and here it is a product column and in my product there are like uh, different product names but the product names are repeated like toothpaste is not repeated but the tiger balm is available here tiger balm also available here and tiger balm also available here the product is repeated in this particular column and if such a situations you are facing like if the repeated values is coming inside your table how you can deal with that values and how you can use we look up using this conditions right if you are interested let's dive into this let's start the video now so folks as i mentioned in the introduction we have a duplicate values in the product column despite these duplicates we can still apply our v lookup for example if i select the tiger balm in this drop down list all records of the tiger balm from this table will fetch over here if you select any other product for example i'm selecting toothbrush and toothbrush is available twice in this table and selecting toothbrush here will fetch both instances now let me show you the original data i'm going to jump to the next sheet and this is our original data initially our data has only three columns product zone and sales and to apply we look up on this particular table we need to add one more column and we call that column as a helper so let's go ahead and add that column why i'm adding a new column here i want to create a unique product names using formula and let's go ahead how to add that column you just have to right click on column a and then click on insert once you insert new column just type the heading for your new column i am increasing the width of the column and i am going to type here unique product so i want to display a unique product list over here but how to do that let me show you practically so first let's count the occurrence of each product using county formula let's go ahead and type the county formula and how to do that let me show you here i'm going to type a county formula once i type it there is a range and criteria there are two arguments everybody knows that there are two arguments first is range and the second is criteria now inside the range i'm going to select this product first product that is b2 and i'm not going to drag entire range i'm going to do one thing this is a logical you have to observe it carefully and you have to look it and you have to understand it guys and then i'm going to type a colon by pressing shift key on keyboard just type the colon once you type a colon automatically again b2 will appear so this is what b2 to b2 and for first b2 i'm going to make it fix so i'm going to select the first b2 and by pressing f4 on keyboard it will be fixed why i'm doing this because i want first cell should be remain fixed when i'm going to drag the formula and uh, the second cell of the range must be relatively changed and that's why i have put down a dollar sign or we can say a fix for this particular cell now put down a comma and select the criteria criteria is available here and let's understand the output of this particular formula press enter key on keyboard you will see the output that is 1 and drag this formula for entire range now you will see for the first ids occurrence it shows 1 the first tiger balm occurrence it shows 1 then toothpaste paste it shows toothbrush it shows 1 but here in the next cell idx appears twice in above range look at the formula of this cell look at here so we are counting our product occurrence in this range b2 to b6 and idx is appears twice twice in this particular range because we are looking for idx b6 so it is going to show you the second means we are getting product count 
like we do running total right that's that's like that so we are getting counting running counting we can say as it as well okay so now why i did it because i want to do one more thing i am going to put my cursor between is equal to and c and now i'm going to select this b2 cell again and putting ampersand sign to join these two things means the county formula as well as b2 b2 cell content that is the product name now press enter key and what you will get drag this formula for the rest of the cells what you are getting right now guys you are getting iodx1 then tiger bomb worm then toothpaste one toothbrush one and when the iodx is appearing again it shows iodx2 means we are getting unique product list by using county formula right so this is our first task to create unique product item inside our table and this is our helper column in order to get a repeated value using vlookup right we have a repeated values duplicate values inside this product column but we have added one more column where we are right now having only a unique values to use the vlookup formula on this particular example okay so was the next now let's create a drop down list here i'm going to put my cursor in g2 cell and uh, in order to create the drop down list you know that you just have to go inside the data menu and there is a data validation option here i already shown this option previously so now click on data validation once you click on it you will get this kind of dialog box inside this dialog box select the list and then keep your cursor inside the source and select this list if you are using new version of the excel uh, the duplicate will be automatically removed means you will able to see only the unique values in the drop and that's the beauty of this data validation and i can select any product i can assign this particular things to product okay title so now look at it. i just copied and paste the title from here to here so what is the next thing next thing is that i'm going to copy these titles i'm going to put my cursor in a zipi cell and by pressing ctrl v i'm going to paste it now my target is if i select the toothpaste i should get all the products of toothpaste here by from this step in order to do that we need to apply vlookup form so guys to achieve this follow these steps that i'm going to tell you this is crucial and requires careful observation people often ask me is there is a way to find repeated values using vlookup and paste those values in a separate table is it possible they are asking me yes my answer is yes yes we can do it but we need some additional logic we have already created a unique product helper column for this particular table because we have a repeated values now let's apply the vlookup and here in this vlookup we have to apply the some sort of logic and let's understand that one also. right so type the vlookup formula here i'm typing a vlookup formula and then we are getting four arguments that first argument is our lookup value and i'm going to select this lookup value which is inside the g3 cell because i want that if i change this particular value then i should get all the relevant product list over here whatever i selected in this drop down but pause and think this is not the exact lookup value that we are looking for observe this table carefully the lookup value must be in the leftmost column of the table and this is our lookup value that we have selected but this is not in a leftmost column we have something else as a lookup that is we have created that uh, unique product list and this is our lookup value and in order to get this lookup value in this vlookup formula we need to apply some sort of logic and that logic will be like this you just add or m person i mean to say m person you just have to join a number here and i'm joining on number one with the help of m person sign i'm going to select this one by selecting it you will able to see toothpaste the answer of this particular selection means g3 and one it is toothpaste again just select it and you will come to know uh there is a like one pop-up is given over there there is answer is coming over here toothpaste it shows toothpaste one it means that i can face the data of toothpaste one but what if it is toothpaste two and three what about the other ones for that we need to make it dynamic and to make this one dynamic uh, we are going to use row function you know that what row does over here yes i already explained you about the row function if you select this row you will be able to see this is displaying you six and uh, as of now we are typing this particular vlookup formula in row number six it means that row formula will show you output row numbers right because it is going to show you the exact row number where you are adding your formula where you are typing your formula. right now we are working inside the row number six and that's why it shows six but we don't want six we want it should be display one that's why i'm going to subtract number five from this row formula so once i select it now look at it. i'm going to select this entire one and look at here what what is the result over here. now you will able to see there is a toothpaste and a toothpaste one you just select it again and you'll able to see a toothpaste wow this is what i'm looking for and why i have added row formula reason behind it i want to make it dynamic once i drag this formula vertically uh, i should get like uh, if there is a second product
product of toothpaste it should be this way there is a third product of toothpaste it should be this way toothpaste one two three legs okay so on and so for now i'm going to fix this particular lookup value also so by pressing f4 you can fix what is the next next is uh put down a comma once you finish with your lookup value put down comma and then select your table array our table array is located here by selecting from a to d we are ensuring that we have selected properly now we have selected our data properly by pressing f4 again i'm going to fix this range next is column index number for this particular example i'm going to add a column index number dynamically i want to add it dynamically because uh, i want to get data from product zone as well as sales there are three different columns but for this example just observe it carefully we are not dragging this formula vertically it means we don't have this particular column in a vertical list we have a columns in a horizontal order right right now it is in a horizontal order and if you add a row function here it it might get wrong right because it is definitely wrong because we are going to drag this formula horizontally not the vertically but your question might be sir why you added row here because we are going to drag this formula vertically too when we are going to drag this formula vertically because if we are looking for the toothpaste two one two three and so on and so forth that's why we are going to drag this formula vertically and that's why we are added row here but in order to get the column index number properly and what is our column index number basically column index number nothing but the column number which we are looking for we are looking for product column answer and the product is located in second number you know that this is our first column this is a second column third and fourth so product is second then uh, zone is third and zone is located into the next column not into the next row and that's why instead of row i'm going to add Add a call because in a previous example i already told you if there is a data vertically data available you have to apply a row as a column index number but for this example we are going to add column as a column index but what this column shows to you column shows this is a seven because we are typing this formula inside g and g is our seven number in excel right we have to count from this one two three four five six and seven so it shows the correct number because we are adding this formula in seven number column but uh, this is not the column index number that we want we want column index number should be three and to get it sorry column index number should be two not three because product we are looking for so so to get it to i am going to subtract minus for you and once you select it you will come to wow it's this is the column index number that we are for select this and you'll see that it now put down a comma once you put down a comma okay then uh, there will be a last argument that is what zero zero for exact so once you finish with your formula just press enter key and see result of course i'm going to show you the result but before moving ahead let me tell you if you want to boost your excel speed we have a surprise for you guys yes you heard it right you we have a surprise an excel boost booster tool designed to enhance your excel knowledge and work faster for example if your boss asks you to make text uppercase like suppose take example here is the text and your boss asks you to make it uppercase so it is really difficult to apply formulas and like a lot of stuff you have to do you just have to do one thing if you have excel booster go here and click on uppercase that's it guys just click on proper case that's it guys it's, it's too simple just clicking on that options you are getting the change case instant not just that guys similarly the tool offers this particular tool offers many other options like converting a workbook to pdf advanced goal seek and so many options and what is this option all about suppose take an example your boss asked to convert all these sheets into individual pdf i'm telling you about individual pdf in excel normally you would need to manually save each sheet as a pdf like i would like to show you how you can do manually you have to save this workbook as a save as type pdf and then there is options for you but this options also will not allow you to save individual pdf means it will allow you save individual pdf but not all the pdfs at a time it will allow you to save only a active sheet pdf and there is one more option that is entire workbook if you check this option it will allow you to save entire workbook sheets into one single pdf but our boss asks you to create individual pdf not one single pdf right and if you click this option this will save this will again workable but this will only convert this particular sheet into the pdf and your task is to convert each and every sheet into the pdf right individual pdf that i mean to say and here it is the option for you guys just click on it and just select your located folder and then click on okay your all sheet will be converted into individual individual pdf let me show you the demo here i have all pdf 
name folder on the desktop and here i'm going to do one thing click on the workbook pdf and here it is my folder name i'm going to select it and that's it guys wow look over there all sheets have been successfully converted into individual pdfs let me show you that inside the folder look over here wow every sheets that we are having inside this particular workbook it converted into the individual pdf right so if you want this tool in your excel i'll let you know about that tool but first of all just drag this formula and see the result don't worry i'm going to tell you how you can get that tool free in your excel i'm going to tell you about that but just drag this formula and see the result there is one more thing that we have to do with this formula oh my god we are getting error okay let's choose the another one here it is i'm going to choose a tiger bomb we are getting proper but the problem is that what is this error? because the error appears because we have a drag formula up to this these are the cells right and one thing you can do if you don't want this error to be displayed because see if there are three products it will display up to three if there are two products it will display up to two like uh, toothbrush it will display up to two if there is a one product it will display up to one here it is in this case and the rest of the cells will be throwing you error and to avoid this error we need to apply if error formula inside the vlookup if error type if error between is equal to and v and then once you type it put down a comma at the end of this formula and add value if error if there is error i need to throw it a blank i need to show it as so press enter key i am supposed to close the bracket but i haven't closed it don't worry excel will do for you if you click on s and then drag the formula and uh, boom that's it guys that's it so this is about the we look up if you have a duplicate values in your data but you might be wondering how to get this excel booster tool in your excel of course it's a premium tool but i'm going to give you absolutely free for this particular content viewer means you are watching my channel regularly that's why you are getting as a bonus to get this tool attend my webinar of becoming a ms executive or becoming power bi developer the webinar link is in the description attend the webinar and you will receive the excel booster tool as a bonus the link is available in the description go ahead and register for the webinar and and get the excel booster tool as a free. so for now thank you for attending this lesson if you like this video hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you are new thank you very much for watching take care bye bye